So here I am again on the River Trent going after barbel and chub and maybe some river carp. The river's a bit low today but uh, you know I've been hearing there's one or two fish being coming out. Let's hope a nice barbel is going to like my halibut boily or my bloodworm boilies. I mean I don't even mind a big chub you know but uh, we're here we're going to persevere and we're going to see what happens. I've got 12 hours so uh, fingers crossed we'll have one or two fish out. Only time will tell. It's a beautiful day for it though. 22 degrees but we do need some rain. The river's a bit low but uh, that's lovely. So here we have my hook, extra strong hook just in case I catch a river carp two halibut boilies on the hair and we have a stringer PVA stringer with halibut boilies so when that lasts so when that rests on the bottom that'll be with my hook bait and hopefully a barbel or a carp or something is going to take that but yeah you really have to have a super strong hook on especially if you're trying to catch a river carp here we have the same rig, just with a PVA stringer with bloodworm boilers on. See if a barbel or a chub or a carp are like this rig. Using a strong hook again because of the big river carp in here, they grow over 30 pounds, possibly even 40 pounds. So you need a strong hook to hold the fish. And the barbel grow big in here too. Lovely jubbly. Perfect positioning. Bait runner on. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a per perfect barbel spot just underneath that bush. There's a few rocks down there. It's a bit snaggy, but barbel and chub like snags. So I'm going to put one rod just in the margins. It's probably about seven foot there and uh, we'll see what we can produce tonight. Yeah, there's a nice Kestrel, just uh, sat having a rest, just on the uh, telegraph pole there. I'm sat watching my rods and uh, I'm sat watching a beautiful bird of prey, just like that. Wildlife when you're fishing, fantastic. Yeah, just waiting for that uh, rod tip to go over now. Fingers crossed it won't be too long. I've seen a couple of knocks on the rod tip that could be uh, the barbel fins just catching the line.
here we have a, another nice barbel just resting in the net just caught it, it's windy as hell but this is a good fish might go £10 Yeah, you can see it's recovering nicely in the net. Yeah, you can see me, me halibut boil is there, and there's the whiskers. It's just four o'clock. Yeah, lovely, pristine barbel. This one, thin, perfect. That's where the power is. Beautiful fish. Well, here I am on the River Trent, once again, next to a busy bridge, but I've just managed an 11 pound two barbel. Fantastic. There you are, look at that. Nice barbel, four o'clock. Put up one hell of a scrap. Another Trent double. Absolutely fantastic, having a, a good season with these big fish, so uh, let's put this one back and see if we can get a bigger one, absolutely gorgeous. There we are just resting my barbel in the edge because she put up one hell of a scrap. Yeah, caught her in about 10 foot of water. So, it's good to give the barbel give the barbel around about five to ten minutes rest before they fully recover. So, I mean, every fish that we fish for does deserve our respect. And this fish is no different, it deserves our respect. There she goes into the depths. Just got a lovely big eel, the biggest eel I have ever had out the river. It's a lovely fish. They're very rare these days, these big ones. But uh, took a liking to uh, halibut boily. It's got to be getting on for, for three pounds. The biggest one I've ever had out the river. Lovely, lovely fish. Lovely big eel. Here's my big eel in the net. Biggest one I've ever caught. Slimy little devil. There's a nice fish. Nice big eel. Yeah, here's my 
Bill. I couldn't believe that took a boilie. Can you see how thick she is? It's a lovely big fish, my biggest eel I've caught in the river. She's got a perfect tail as well. Got me all tangled up, as eels do. Right, we're going to return this one to become even bigger now. Back she goes. Yeah, caught a couple of uh, bullheads in my net as well when I was landing that eel. That I didn't realise. Lovely. Nice bullhead. Well, here I am trying a different stretch of the River Trent today. See if we can get some barbel chub or maybe some carp. Just going to uh, cast my first rod in. It's uh, quite warm. Uh, there's one or two fish rising on the surface. Uh, I think they're mainly roach and chub, but uh, you never know, we might get a river cap tonight as well. So we're going to cast in the rods and we're going to see what happens. Same bait, halibut boily, bloodworm boily, and fingers crossed we'll get a big kipper tonight. Well, that's the rods in. All we can do now is wait. I'll give it three hours. If we don't catch anything, I'll bring the rods in, put a new PVA stringer on both the rods, recast it out, and I'll feed some halibut pellets and fingers crossed this will bring something in the swim to feed, either a chub, barbel, carp, or maybe even a big bream. But uh, we'll see. The conditions aren't too great, but uh, I think we might have a good fish tonight. But only time will tell. Yeah, the River Trent sure is beautiful. What a powerful river with a lot of big fish in it. Well, all we need is for one of these rods to roar off and a big barbel, carp, chub. You never know what's going to take in here. There's all sorts in the trench. But I'm already unarmed, so fingers crossed at some point during the night, one of those rods is going to roar off and I'm going to do battle with a good fish. Well, it's nice. Just sat here in the sunshine, waiting for a barbel or a chub or a carp, getting a tan. Give it another uh, 10 minutes and it uh, should be dark and fingers crossed a barbel or a chub or something is, uh, is going to grab that but uh, we shall see, we shall see. Come on you barbel, give me a nice double figure barbel, ooh that sounded like a nice chub. Fingers crossed find my bait. 
Yeah, here we are once again. It's at the witching hour. It's 10 o'clock. I've been having one or two knocks. I don't know whether they're from Roach, Chub. Something's been having a, a right go on the uh, halibut boilies. But I uh, haven't seemed to hook anything yet. But uh, we'll know if a, a river carp or a barbel will take that because the rod will just go straight over. No messing. So uh, fingers crossed that's going to happen at some point during the night. We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So what I'm doing now is I'm just leaving my barbel in there in the net just while I go get the camera ready and they uh, can have a rest there and as you can see starting to get his breath back starting to get his breath back already Nice fish. What a lovely hard fighting barbel. 10 pound 12 ounces. Only took me eight hours to get her. Look at that tail. What a paddle. Thin perfect. Beautiful. Well, another Trent double, 10 pound, 12 ounces. Another cracking barbel. What a fight she put up in the centre of the river. Beautiful fish. Right, let's get a photograph and there. Uh, Put straight back. Yeah, it's very important that you let the barbel recover because it's put so much energy into the fight. And she's knackered. Yeah, just holding her in the floor, getting her well oxygenated. Yeah, she put up. A hell of a scrap that fish. One hell of a scrap.